I'm Rach Benero, Instructional Technology Specialist, and today I want to share with you about how you can use Discovery Education to promote literacy with your students. Let's dive in and explore this resource. We're going to begin by going to discoveryeducation.com and we're going to click Login. And then you want to put in your username and password. If you've never created a Discovery Education account, you'll need to connect with your Information Literacy Specialist as they'll be able to give you the code that you need and the steps to follow to create your account. And so it talks about how we're going to explore a literacy tool. And with Inside Discovery Education, they have books. And what these are are interactive picture books. And the thing that I like best about them is that these can work for students who are learning virtually or students who are physically inside your classroom. And so you can go through it and see that they have actually two full pages worth of picture book content for you to explore and to utilize with your students. But we're going to go back to the first page, and the example that we're going to use is Ghost Afraid of the Dark. So the best thing about this literacy tool is that when it reads the book aloud to students, it's going to go over the words so the students are seeing them highlighted as they're spoken. And you have full control of the speed in which the book is read. So if you have maybe English language learners who would need the book to be read at a slower pace, you can change it to a slower pace. And students can control this if you assign this to them, or you as the teacher can choose which of the scales you want the story to be read at. There is the ability to assign this so that students can preview it on their own. Or what I ended up doing was creating our own little interactive slide that I would present to my students that they were in class with me. And so let me show you what I mean by this. And so within the Discovery Education Studio, you can create your own slides. This book is about conquering fears. I tell the students a little bit about what this story is. Discovery Education has a built-in immersive reader. And so as we're previewing this, if students needed to hear the text read aloud, we could Conquering click it. fears. Boo, a shy little ghost visits all of his Halloween friends. And it would read aloud to our students. I can click on the next and I can see that the video is there for this interactive story. And I could click play and it would go through the entire story. And then I also have the ability to do some built-in questions. So I could assign this to my students to do on their own or we can discuss these questions together as a group. But uh, it's set up right now so that students would be able to type in here, describe a time when you were brave, and how of your friends helped you when you needed them. Kind of connects with what's happening in this interactive story. Now, these I mentioned are books, and actually on the books website, if we go there now, you can go to the resources page, and if you scroll down, you can find a activity guide to go with this book. So our book is Ghost Afraid of the Dark. And inside this PDF, I can scroll through and I can see maybe there are some more discussion questions that I want to ask my students. Or as we're previewing this book, I could pause at these specific times in the video and I could ask these questions. And we can have an interactive dialogue together. They also have a coloring page for kids to do. There's a drawing and writing and Halloween puppets. I think this could be a really cool extension. I could give a copy of these Halloween puppets to students and then I could integrate another tech ed tool and use Flipgrid and have kids create their own little Halloween story using these puppets. So with each of these books that are inside of Discovery Education, you can find a resource guide on the book's website to further enhance the use of this tool. And like I mentioned, you can use this Discovery Education resources together as a whole class. Or if you're teaching virtual, you can assign it to your students to listen to and follow along on a book on maybe an assigned day when they're not meeting with you. I encourage you to check out books that are inside Discovery Education and try using one with your students. Think about what additional resources could you incorporate to make it a further immersive experience. If you have any questions or need more support, please feel free to reach out to me.